In this video, we're going to take the time to learn how to manually deploy our web application that we've created into the Tomcat web container and then run it directly from the web container without having to have Eclipse. Before we get started though, we want to make sure that if we do have our Eclipse open, that we don't have our server currently running. If our server is currently running, then when we try to start our service manually, it will actually start and stop and it won't tell you really much information about why it's starting and stopping. So it's just a really good idea to double check if you have your Eclipse open, make sure to stop the server before you continue. I'm going to go ahead and just minimize. The next thing we need to do is open a couple different Explorer windows. So the first one you need to drill in to the actual location of where you've created your Java projects. And so what we'll do is actually go to our Hello World servlet folder underneath our Java projects. And then the next one, you need to be open to your program files, Apache software instance into the web apps folder. So if you drill in, you'll see all the different Tomcat folders and here we need the web apps folder. You can see in the web apps folder, currently we don't have many projects deployed and we have all of our code over here that we need for Hello World Servlet. So what we need to do is create a new folder here and we'll just name it Hello World Servlet to match. Now inside of there, we need to have two things. First of all, the web content, we need to drag or copy the meta INF and web INF folders. We don't want to move them, we want to copy them because we need to leave them behind in case we want to make modifications later. And the other thing we need is inside of the web INF, we need to make a copy of our classes folder. So we'll copy that one over here as well. And so that's inside of our build folder. And we don't need the source files and we don't need the settings and things like that. So all we need is the web INF, the meta INF, which has the manifest, and of course our web XML, which does all of our deployment descriptor things, and our classes files, which contains all of our classes that we've built. So they need to be our most recent compiled version. Once that's up and running then, what we need to do is go ahead and start our Apache Tomcat server. So we manage our computer. We're going to go into our services and there's our Tomcat server container. So let's go ahead and start that. And it does start. The next thing we do is just verify that our service is working as expected. So we can go to the hello world start servlet and that will take us where we're supposed to go. We can try start servlet too, that also works. And we can try our hello world.do, and that also works. So now all of our pages are working as expected and we've successfully deployed to the container. Now, if we want to make changes to the container, of course, we need to stop the service and start it over. But what I want to show you is that we have one thing that could potentially be a problem. Right now, in place, what we have is we have named the folders exactly the same on our web app server. But if for some reason we could not name the folders the same on our web app server, everything would work as long as we don't have something that was going to create a conflict with that. And we do have one thing, and that is that we've done our response redirect. When we did that, we hard-coded the name of our project. So what's gonna happen now is most of my stuff should work here. I need this to be HWS, and then I'll run start servlet, and that works. And then I'll go to my hidden servlets, and this is going to be hello world do, and that works. Unfortunately, when I try to do start servlet one, this is where we're gonna get the error. The reason that's going to happen is because when we did our code, if you want to look directly at the code on our start servlet, we actually hard coded the name of the path to be hello world servlet. Now there's ways to try to get the path from the actual servlet request context. And you can actually try to get the context and then try to get the path and try to build variables to go ahead and change that. But what happens is when you start running an eclipse, it's not going to run and that creates problems there. So we have a couple different choices. Number one, we have to make sure that we don't hard code a path like this and try to use it in a project that has a different name, or we have to make sure that the name is the same as what we've hard coded. And later we'll learn about doing some variables where we could potentially have a context variable that we could change in and out there, which would allow us to not have to worry about what the name of the project folder is. And we can learn that as we go when we address context variables. But for right now, we'll just leave it in place the way it is. And we'll just know that since we have that redirect, the way that we're deploying right now, we have to have the same file name folder structure or we'll have a problem with that redirect. 